Okay, I came across this video a couple days ago. I'm a subscriber to this YouTube channel, Encounter Today, and I would highly recommend everybody subscribe to the channel. Um, you should go and watch the entire video. It's uh, 24 minutes long, and he's got a bunch of other great videos up there on his site. But this one here, uh, there's so much good stuff that's in there, but I took a snippet, probably about three or so minutes, um, that I thought was extremely, extremely important. Uh, people need to wake up. The times we're in are crazier than they've ever been, and they're only going to get crazier. So that's why I would highly recommend that you watch this video and share it with everybody you know. Okay, here's the page. It's Encounter Today. Go to YouTube and go to that page. Alan Didio is the bishop. This guy's incredible. If you live in Charlotte, North Carolina, you should follow this guy, but you don't need to live there. This guy's going to be an up-and-coming guy in a big way, I can tell. He's got a very anointed message. Check it out. Do you think that you're dealing with something different than the Antichrist? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to turn to 1 John, and you're going to need to turn there because they're not going to have the full verse up on the screen when we do get there. So I want you to go to 1 John chapter number 4. Those of you watching online, quickly go to 1 John Chapter number four. This is going to blow your mind. I'm going to show you something you've never seen before. And as you're turning there, just say, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Here's what it says in 1 John chapter 4. Let's begin with verse number one. Did you come to learn something tonight? 1 John Chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Everybody say the incarnation. So the incarnation is an important doctrine, isn't it? The understanding that Jesus was born of a virgin in the flesh, that God became man is important, and that there will be a spirit that denies that, that reality. Verse number three, and every spirit that confesses not that Jesus has come in the flesh is not of God, and this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof you have heard that it should come and even now is already in the world. Stay right there in your Bible, but listen to me. We're not talking just about an individual that will soon come and dominate the political world. We are talking about a spirit that you are contending with right now. The spirit of Antichrist could be the reason you're fighting depression. It could be the reason that you're fighting anxiety. It could be the reason that your family is falling apart or that financially you're having difficulty. The Antichrist spirit is a financial spirit. We see it all throughout Scripture. It began with Cain and Abel. And when Cain slew Abel over an offering and the blessing of God, that is the Antichrist spirit, just like Cain. Then fast forward to Judas Iscariot in the Gospels of Jesus Christ, the son of perdition, a name given to Judas and the Antichrist, the only two characters in the Bible. And what was Judas in control of? The money. In fact, he got upset with an, with a, with an uh, outstanding offering when it was poured out in Jesus' life, and he said, that should have been given to the poor. What is that? That's the Antichrist spirit. How many have been bound by it in the modern church? Then fast forward to the book of Revelation chapter 13. No one can buy or sell. So it is an economic spirit. Could it be that what you're facing financially is a result of the Antichrist spirit? Here's what I need you to get. That we're not talking about some individual that may come in the distant future that you'll have no relation to. We are talking about a spirit that is in the earth right now manipulating your life. 